Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Played Up. So just figured I would, uh, I, I got this game as a gift from uh, one of my, uh, one of the longtime channel fans, Dana Black. Thank you very much, Dana. So I figured, you know what, let me, uh, let me give it a try. This is a, an interesting uh, type of mashup. It is a restaurant roguelike. Not usually two, uh, two things that you see combined. Now, I was originally hesitant because it had some chaotic elements to it. Some real-time, fast twitch, cook-serve delicious elements. Although not quite that hectic. However, there is more strategy than twitch to this game. I mean, there's certainly some twitch to it, but I, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Let us give it a shot. Please let me know how you like this. This is also a multiplayer game, so this might be a, a multiplayer mashup candidate in the near future. But for now, I'm just going it solo. In the beginning, as like with any uh, current rogue light, as you uh, progress through the game, you get, unlock new stuff. A couple of things that we've unlocked. I've played a couple of games off camera here. First off, you, you get a selection of two different randomly generated layouts. And these layouts are actually pretty, pretty important in terms of what, what you can do with them. I'll go with that layout this time. You don't get to pick every time. And then you get to pick what is your primary food that you are going to be serving people. I've tried both the salad and the steak. I'm not a big fan of salad. A lot of prep work that's more suited for a multiplayer experience, but steaks I can handle on my own. Now up here, as far as I can tell, you can get some goodies, give some freebies to your to your future restaurants in the form of an extra burner and an extra rug here. So I think that's how you get those started with it here. I'll explain as we go here. It starts out slower, but then it gets real hectic. So we are ready to begin. Okay, so here is our layout, although we can uh, adjust the layout. We can also get a booking desk to hurry things along. I'll, uh, I'll get that. Turn that blueprint into a proper thing here. All right, so our customers are gonna be sitting at the tables. This right here, this, this allows me to pass food through this barrier without having to go through here. However, I can't just like chuck the plates at them. So what I'm gonna do is we put, yeah, put that there. That gives us two chairs. And then if we put this here, we, yeah, we get rid of that chair. So it's just two chairs because the group sizes are one or two. That's it. That way we can go in and out here pretty easily. These plates I'm gonna put right here. So that way we can grab a plate and put it here. Actually, you know what, here's what we do. Put a burner there, put a burner there. Because what you need to do is you need to cook the food <coughs> on the burners, but then you need to put the food on the plate and then need to put the cooked food with the plate on here so that you can go around and then serve the people. So that's probably about the fastest way I can think of doing that. Let's see here. This is the refrigerator where we get the raw materials. Yeah, you know what? Raw material fridge goes there. Sink is also very important. Sink is where the dirty plates go. And then you wash the dirty plates and then you put the cl dirty, the clean plates back on the clean plate rack. And if you run out of plates, then you're, you're out of stuff. This can just go over here. That's extra. This is the garbage can in case we get our hands full of something that we don't want. I'll put that over there. All right, that's, see, this is where the strategy and the tactics come in is, is finding the optimal layout for your thing before you start the day. Once the day starts, that's when the fast twitch stuff comes in, but the more organized your space is, the better. And unfortunately, because of the layout, we can't like move the doors. That's the one thing we can't do right now. All right, so yeah, let's start the day. Now the, now the trick with steaks is that people will come in and they'll uh, order them either rare, medium rare, uh, or um, well done. And you have to cook them to order. So how long you keep them on the burners depends on how people want it. All right, here comes our first person. All right, yeah, you have to, you do have to go out and take their order. They want a well done steak. All right, so we grab, grab a steak, stick it on there. I'm gonna call the next peop, batch of people here. All right, so now that's rare. Also, this stuff is making well done. Put it on a plate, put it over here. Let's take your order, medium steak, and there you go. Oh, well, 
maybe I should, I'll, I'll grab the dirty plate once the steak is done. My, uh, oh, derp. Dirty plate, two rare steaks, rare steak plate done, rare steak plate done. Run back here, serve, serve, and we are done. Luckily, you don't have to clean up the last of the dregs. All right, 29 bucks. So now you use this gold to potentially buy new things for your restaurant to be able to handle stuff, do things a little faster. Let's see what we're offered. Also, my controller is drifting. That's why I keep turning to the left. All right, another thing there. Uh, another sink, we don't need another sink. A conveyor automatically moves items. I don't know if that automatically serves people though. There is automation in here. So eventually research desk or another counter. I'm going to take this research desk. I can't afford it yet, but we have a, um, a blueprint drawer so we can save one for later. So for when we can um, afford it. I think we can still handle the next day uh, without any uh, tangible upgrades. Also one thing I realized no, nah, I don't want to put I don't want to put a table in here. The conveyor, I'm tempted, but I don't know where we would use the conveyor yet. If it could just dump the plates on their table, that would be great, but not so much. So let's just start our day. We'll take both orders and then a medium, medium and a rare. Coming right up. There's our medium, there's our rare. We'll get the two person. All right, let's take the order. Well done in a rare. All right, let's get the well done cooking. Oh wait, yeah, I gotta wash this one first. have to worry about the dishes for the final party of the night. Here, I'll bring it out to you directly. Yeah, the crap on the ground slows you down. All right, not bad, not bad. Also, the, the way this game works is if the, the minute you fail to serve a customer on time, the whole thing shuts down. You lose. All right, so we've got 72. We can get that upgrade station. All right, interact to upgrade a blueprint in an adjacent cabinet. All right, so now we need to put a blueprint in here to upgrade it. Uh, counter, sink, cooks things. Ooh, hold this to clean floor messes or the dishes. And you can upgrade a research desk. Now this isn't upgradable, but uh, what happens if you upgrade the research desk? 
You know what, actually, I'm gonna take the hob and put it in here to be upgraded. And then I'm gonna just straight up buy the scrubbing brush. So we pick that up and that lets us clean messes in here and also clean dishes faster, which is really good. All right, uh, we're at 12, I think. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, four groups, but still only one to two group sizes. Start the day. I'm gonna pre-cook some steaks here. Just put them at rare, in case that's what they order, and because we can always cook them longer. A rare and a medium. So one of these just needs to go back on the heat for just a little bit longer. The rare can get plated. Let's call somebody early. Medium. Rare in a well. A little of everything. All right, let's start the well. There's our well. Uh, we need a rare. We need a medium on there. Medium and a well. Get those both cooking now. There's our medium. That's everybody this time. All right, we get our first star. Upgrade your restaurant to receive better rewards. All right, let's see what we get to pick. Again, roguelikes fashion, you get to pick some bigger, let's see, leisurely and greatly increases customer eating time. Delicious dishes need time to be enjoyed. Meat soup, adds meat soup as a starter. Takes a lot of effort, but each batch will serve multiple customers. Oops, well, I guess we're going with meat soup. Add onion and water to a pot and boil to make broth. Add meat and cook again. Interact to make a portion. When depleted, add oil, water and boil to make broth again. Yeah, there's our pots. We might need our upgraded thing. Is this a hop plus one or something now? It looks a bit different. All right, we're gonna have to push this back. We're gonna have to push this whole setup back to make more room. An extra burner will, cer will certainly help. There's our onions, and then the, I think the meat. There is a way to practice your ingredients. All right, so here's what we do. What else do we get here? More plates, possibility. Another counter. Flower pot, give flowers to customers. Upgradable, eh? Let's put you in the drawer. You know, these things can go out here because we need every bit of space we can in the kitchen here, and we're not gonna be interacting with these frequently. All right, I'm gonna do a practice mode here. Oh, that's how you get the water. All right, a meat soup. That takes a while to cook. And then you add meat. And then yeah, you get multiple portions out of it. But eventually you'll have to fill it back up again. All right, all right, I get it now. I think I can handle it. We definitely want to start that up nice and early. And actually, let's get two steaks cooking. Well, 
because they're medium now. Steak. Rare steak, medium steak. Well, we already got the medium steak. steak. I forgot the brush. wanted that as an appetizer then. Okay, a rare and a medium, eh? Huh? So it's a more a little bit more involved than I realized, but I, we survived another day, and we get extra points for the meat soup appetizers. So, yay! Ooh, another dining table. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's buy a dining table just so another group can uh, sit down. Another sink, another hob, another counter, a mixer. Chopping. We don't do a lot of chopping with this particular se setup, so I think I'm going to save my stuff. Also, did we get upgraded plates? Maybe we have to cook it for a little bit longer? All right, let's do the next day. All right, pot, water, onion, pot. Two rare steaks. that in there and he wants the stew very good very good Well done, steak. Oh, I shouldn't have plated them. Steak. 
Two well done steaks. Shouldn't have plated these. I'm coming, I'm coming. lost that one. Oh, that's a big grease spot. And I got to I got to make I got to clean dishes to make room here. Get the wand. Sure, the health code loves me carrying a dish scrubber. Oh wait, no, I need to start steaks. I ran out of room in my garbage can. I have just barely enough space to give them everything they want. Oh, this restaurant's a mess. But we survived. We survived. Whew. Formal. High standards and expect the same. It's just business after all. Tables create no mess. Decrease mass, bonus patience when delivering food. Increase patience, patience decreases slower when players near tables. Customers will sit at tables before they are cleared. Oh, I see what you're doing. Um, yeah, less mass is bonus patience when delivering food. Yeah, actually formal works, works well because we get extra, we get extra patience when we deliver our um, meat soup. All right, nice, nice amount of earnings. No, no, I didn't want to start the day. Well, crap, I hit the wrong button. first soup. Soup, soup, soup. And let's see what you want for steak. Oh, rare steak. I just need to plate it. You make less mess. Gotta get that going. Double well done steaks. All right, at least that gives us time. I'm 
coming, I'm coming. Keep your pants on. Now if I can get to this without setting my kitchen on fire, which I cannot. Dang it, it ran out of time. Uh, had I not burned those two well done ones, well, more than they wanted them burned. But hey, that's that's the nature of the roguelike. You, you, you go up in levels, you, you get more experience, you unlock more stuff, and you try again. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this one. If you guys like this episode and you wanna see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.